Jeffrey suffers with negative thoughts. His thoughts are his worst enemy, but Adonis, Adonis's thoughts are his biggest help in battle. His right hand man, Adonis's thoughts paired with Adonis creates a dangerous combo on the battlefield and Adonis understands there are five habits which will dangerously impact your mental health. I haven't prepared much of a story for this one but for about three, four years of my life from aged 11, 10, 11 to aged 14 roughly, I struggled with negative thoughts constantly literally every single day my mind would be my biggest hater i'd barely get any positive thoughts that were actually on my side and that was painful to live with because i would look in the mirror and i think that i was so ugly that i'd never even attract a partner and so i might as well jump off a sky base right now my thoughts were so bad that sometimes I would go to sleep crying because it was just that bad. I'd be in exams thinking of <laughs> of dark stuff and I don't want you to go through the same thing. And so there's been five things which I've noticed which can cause a dangerous impact on your mental health and we're going to go over them in this video but first my name's Alfie I help young men transform their lives through self-improvement if you're interested subscribe right now yo just quickly I do one-to-one -one self improvement coaching where you get to text me on discord unlimited asking me any questions I'll create a game plan for you so all you have to do is take action if you're interested click the first link in the description safe the first thing I want to go over is that these habits were never taught in school. In fact, some of them were actually promoted in school. And this is the problem with the education system. To be honest, you, I wouldn't take advice, especially on mental health, from the school system. Because they're just going to tell you cute, like, loser stuff, which is like, take a self-care day. So basically, go in a bath and use a bath bomb and then all your problems will be cured. That's not what's going to happen here. I'm going to give you long-term solutions. These will change your mental health and keep it good. Having a bath bomb in a bath is not going to help you. But actually understanding why your brain feels bad, why your brain generates negative thoughts and how to change that, that's what's actually going to happen. So yes, it will be a lot harder than taking a bath bomb. It will be a lot harder than taking a bath with a bath bomb and some bubbles but it will change your life for the better. The first and probably the most dangerous thing to your mental health is your self image. Because if you have a poor self image, you won't like yourself. Because really think, why do we get negative thoughts about ourselves? It's because we see ourselves in a bad way. And it turns into this vicious, vicious cycle where you feel negative about yourself and then you do negative things and then you feel even more negative about yourself because you will enact your self-image. Self-image is kind of like how you see yourself. And if that's bad, if there's a negative perception of yourself, you won't be able to do many good things because you won't feel good. You'll feel like a loser. If you tell yourself you're a loser, you won't even try to win because you believe you're a loser. Does that make sense? So we need to just change our self-image because this is the most important thing. When you have a good self image, you will naturally start to like yourself more. You will do better things. You will become more of a winner. So how do we do that? The solution is to delay gratification. So you can build up accomplishments and that will be used as proof for self image, for a better self image. Delaying gratification is where we do something which is kind of challenging and difficult right now, but it'll benefit us in the long term. So this is, for example, exercise. You can exercise today. It'll feel painful. But if you carry on doing that every single day for like a month, you will see a change in your body, which will be better for your future self. You could eat 
the healthy food today and it might not taste as nice as the junk food but if you keep on eating the healthy food you will feel healthier and that is so important you can read today and even though it might be a little bit boring and you might not want to read if you keep on doing that day by day you'll be so much more knowledgeable and so much more educated which will benefit your future self so we need to do things which benefit our future self and if, and do that over the long term constantly almost every single day if you delay gratification you will get accomplishments and you'll feel more proud of yourself and when you can look in the mirror and you've got a six pack and you've got a bicep vein and you've got a v taper you're going to get less negative thoughts about yourself because you have proof that you're actually a winner you have proof that you're you're chad the second thing that will mentally destroy you is watching porn Porn just makes you feel like a dirty gremlin. You're you're weird, basically. It'll make you feel weird. Like you you know, like those fappers in school. You can just look at them and it's like, yeah, you fap. Them guys, you don't have any respect for them. You feel like they're the lowest of the low. You think they're subhuman, right? That's what watching porn does to you, bro. It makes you subhuman. You don't want to be a subhuman. Every every single person online is yapping on about how porn is bad for you. One of the things which I would say is the worst is, again, self-image. When you watch porn, you get the self-image of a loser who has to go to his room and masturbate to other people online. You, like, that's weird. You're not going to respect yourself like that. If you see yourself as that type of person, you're never going to respect yourself. So... How do we get rid of porn? Because when you get rid of porn, your self-image will like just go up, bro. What we need to do is reduce it over time. Because how did we build the habit of watching porn? It wasn't like one day we weren't watching porn, the next day we were f like fapping seven times in one day. It weren't like that. It was over time. One day you watched porn. Then the next day you watched it again. And then the day after, you didn't watch it at all because you just weren't interested. But on the fourth day, you watched it again and you watched it for longer. And then day five, day six, blah, blah, blah. And then a couple months down the line and you're an addict. You're a porn addict, right? So how do we reduce it? We do the exact opposite. So we go from every day of the month, we're fapping to four, two to four days of the next month. You don't fap, you don't watch porn. The month after that, it's five days, six days, and so on and so forth. And if you do that, in a couple months' time, you'll probably be halfway to getting rid of your porn addiction, which is amazing. And there's going to be progress along the way as well. So each month, you're still going to be reducing it. So you're going to have less of the negative effects over time as well. There's some people who are going to have a massive ego and say, oh, no, I'm just going to cut it out all at once. They're going to end up relapsing and then watching a bunch of NoFap videos. I promise if you do this tactic, you will quit porn and keep it. And like you, you'll quit porn and probably won't go back. And even if you do go back, it'll be so infrequent that it doesn't even damage your life anymore. The third thing, which is destroying you mentally it's that you're not making progress to any real life goals because when you aren't achieving goals in real life you're going to be a loser because you're not making progress because when you're not making progress in real life you're staying at the same level and there'll be some people in real life who are similar to you who are leveling up and so you'll look like a worse level if that makes somewhat sense basically if you're not leveling up in real life you're going to remain as a loser because you're not evolving you're not progressing and that's going to make you feel horrible about yourself because you'll go into the real world feeling like a loser and if you feel like a loser then self-image and you're gonna like you know everything's gonna happen with a lot of these things which are mentally destroying you the problem is it makes you feel worse about yourself which sometimes can be a good thing, I'll tell you why. Because if you feel bad about yourself, you're going to try and make progress so you feel good about yourself. That's why you're watching this video now. But we don't want to feel bad about ourselves 24-7. We want to have positive thoughts in our mind. Yes, negativity can somewhat help us, but 
not every single day don't be defeating yourself in your mind it's a quick side tangent so how do you make progress to goals in real life this is pretty simple and straightforward go and set a goal think about something you want to achieve one month from now five months from now 12 months from now set a goal and then figure out how to make progress to that goal and start doing it it's that simple because when you make progress to goals you will feel a lot better about yourself it's as simple as that the fourth thing which is mentally destroying you is that you're not having a schedule slash you're wasting time when you waste time you feel bad about yourself why because you think of all the things that you could have done you think about how you could have spent that time better and you didn't spend that time doing it you spent time watching anime or fapping instead you could have been working and studying and getting a better grade that one study session could have been the difference between you getting an extra mark which could have just got you to the next grade boundary you didn't do it because you were a fapper that day and of course you're going to feel bad about yourself when that happens so how do we stop wasting as much time we do a couple of things first things first we make a schedule so just plan out what an ideal day would look like and then follow that i've got videos on my channel explaining it i'm not sure if i'll link them i probably i might but if not just go into my channel and it should be like how i how i only study two hours a day that's like the video title the second thing is at night time plan tomorrow today so when you go on your schedule at night time you look for tomorrow and see what you're going to do so you'll plan out tomorrow at 5 a.m i'm going to wake up i'm going to meditate and then i'm going to record a video or 5 a.m i'm going to wake up meditate and then go to the gym you know or 6 a.m i'll get ready for school 7 a.m i'll go school till 3 p.m blah 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 you'll plan out your day you'll plan out the next day and the third thing is simply have a to-do list if you have a to-do list you'll naturally want to get the boxes ticked off and then you'll be more productive number five the fifth thing that is mentally destroying you is you use social media because when you go on social media you look at everyone else and they post the best of themselves understandably right because it makes them look good but on your the effect on your mental health is a problem because you'll compare yourself and your average day to their best day you'll you'll compare your normal everyday physique to their i've been cutting for a solid month physique and i'm tanned physique you know what i mean that I've slightly photoshopped it a bit, but I ain't gonna tell you physique. And imagine if you're comparing yourself to that every single day for hours of the day, you're gonna start thinking, God, you're a loser. Everyone's doing better than you. You're the worst person ever. And obviously, if you, you're having those type of thoughts in your head, you're gonna mentally destroy yourself. Not only that, but it can be a distraction which will lead to wasting time, which we've already just covered. So how do we quit social media? Do it as the same as quitting porn. Over time, reduce how much you use social media. You don't need to cut it out completely right now, but just reduce it over time and get it to the point where even when you go on social media, it's not even that bad because you're not like ruining yourself spending three hours on there. It's like you spend 15 minutes on there. You know, I'm glad you're watching a video like this because no one would really teach you about the habits which would destroy you mentally because most people do them and they don't even want to admit that they're mentally destroying themselves they're like an ostrich putting their head in the sand hoping that like it'll go away one day they ignore that this is actually bad for you but you you stayed throughout this entire video and you should be proud of that and it's not and it's not your fault that these are habits that you're struggling with because they are made like for example porn is made to addict you social media is made to addict you so of course you're gonna have one of these bad habits and if you do don't worry just follow what i've told you to do in this video and soon your mental health will be so much better and when your mental health is so much better your life will just improve and you will love life again. 
I get to say that I love life again. If you're interested in videos like this one, scroll down, hit subscribe, and you'll get more videos like this on your homepage. Safe.